Tonight, many of us are getting into the holiday spirit, and that means picking out and putting up your Christmas tree. But what kind of tree is actually the most environmentally friendly? Our Sean Stiles has the answer in this Earth 8 report. With Thanksgiving behind us, everyone's getting into the holiday spirit, and what they're going to be looking for is one of these, a fresh cut Christmas tree. But which is better for the environment, artificial or real? They were farm raised, farm grown, they were cut, and then they, that land will be replanted on. Mike Osborne and his family have operated the Pinery Christmas tree since 1992. All of their Christmas trees come out of the Pacific Northwest. If somebody is selling, you know, 800,000 trees, uh, you know, they probably have 4 million trees in the ground. Some will say by cutting down living trees, you're removing carbon scrubbers from the forest. For every one of these that is cut in the, in the field, they grow one to two more the following year. The average Christmas tree grows for seven to ten years and during that time is sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. Its carbon footprint is nothing. It is, it is taking carbon out of, the, out of the atmosphere. It is taking things that aren't supposed to be in the air and it's helping the environment. Mike will concede that transporting from the Pacific Northwest adds to the carbon footprint. If you compare that to a product that is made overseas uh, and has to go on a boat and come all the way across you know, oceans to get here. According to One Tree Planet, you're looking at about 88 pounds of CO2 per artificial tree to make and bring here. An artificial tree will last about 10 to 20 years, but what do you do with them once they're spent? With plastics, with PVC, with metal, all of those things are what go into creating a fake Christmas tree. And when it goes to the landfill, do those things decompose? No, they don't. Whereas a real tree can be repurposed and turned into mulch. There are alternatives to both. You can rent a Christmas tree or think about buying one that you can plant or donate after the holidays. So there's a look at some of the facts. Whichever way you decide to go, artificial or real, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season.